Today we're going to show you how to make your own injector tools. This is a 2007 to 2022 Sprinter injector. The most annoying thing about it is the fuel line right here. This is really tough to get off. Take your standard 17 mil, try and drop it on. You might be able to get a hold of it. There's not a lot of room there, not a lot of clearance. If you do manage to get the right angle and pop it off, remember here, we're dealing with a lot less space. If you do manage to get this and manage to turn it, you turn it about three degrees, and then boom, you hit your return line right here. You'll either bend it or break it, and that's not a good deal because injectors are expensive. A standard 17 mil, piece of crap. You might say, that's all good. I don't need a standard 17 mil. I got this fancy flare wrench. Well, that's great because even though the flare wrench can go around the line, it's still pretty damn useless because it's too fat to drop in to the right place. Not a good deal, not a good use case. A flare wrench doesn't work. A regular wrench doesn't work. You might say, oh, hey, I want to take, I want to spend 50 bucks on this fancy injector, injector piece right here. Well, this isn't the best solution either, but before I get ahead of myself, let me show you. This is a 12 point and okay, that's okay, that works fine. The only problem is the two injectors at the very back of the engine are tough to get to because this is a little too, this baby's a little too long after you put a wrench on there. There's not really that much space. It's tough to get to the ones in the back, not to mention the one on the front right side. This one doesn't really work for that without having to remove a whole lot of pieces, which you shouldn't need to. There's a better, cheaper solution. You get to make your own. This is a regular 12 point from Walmart. This is a regular 12 point from somewhere else. This has a little bit of a dip in it, which makes it a bit easier for certain injectors. This is the perfect tool. All you gotta do is take your hacksaw or angle grinder or whatever the hell you use and cut a little piece out to fit over the line. Drops in as much as you need it to. And look at that baby right there. You get all the movement in the world that you need. It's probably about 10 times the movement you get from, than a regular wrench. With a little bit more drop to make things easier, this is a slightly superior tool. It will make the job easier and will mean you'll have to remove less things. Quick word of advice, if you do, get out your angle grinder and make a little hole in this guy. Uh, don't touch it right after. This will be extremely hot. Uh, let me show you what happens if you do. That one rips right through. All right, careful, it's gonna be a little bit hot. Opened up a little too far, I think. All right, she works just fine. And notice here, you have plenty of, whoops. Oh, oh, oh shit. Remember, these are fucking hot. Let's just leave it at that. Oh my god. Can't believe I'm an idiot enough to do that. Oh, it's already hurting. Don't be an idiot. Now if you have trouble with pulling these babies out, I have an entire video on that right here. So go check that out. As always, fix your own shit.